Welcome to the Inventive Farmer YouTube channel. I want to introduce you today to Luke. Uh, Luke is our younger son. Uh, he has his engineering degree from Iowa State University and he primarily manages our farming operation here. Uh, he wor also works with the uh, um, mechanical design things for Mixmate, uh, but primarily his heart's into running the farm and so he's managing our farm operation now. Uh, I'll introduce you to one of the first projects we're going to feature here. Uh, he's got a belt conveyor that uh, we will use to load our strip till machine. And uh, that originally had an uh, electric motor drive and now he's converted it to a gas engine. And so um, I'll get you introduced to Luke and also here's a first look at this belt conveyor. Luke manages our farming operation here and uh, also does uh, uh, mechanical design primarily with anything mixed meat and knows how to do all this programming stuff <laughs> and all that fun thing too. Yeah, but. I've done some of the software in the MixMate, the Android app as it currently is today. Um, had my hand in some pretty not insignificant parts of that, I guess. And, but mostly farm stuff these days or shop projects like this one, which you'll get to see in upcoming videos. Uh, Cause it was, not a small undertaking, that's for sure. Yeah. So, uh, Luke, it's kind of interesting over time, we've kind of all settled into our positions and Luke enjoys the farming a lot. And that was kind of more of a goal for him to uh, do the farming side. And you'll get to meet Brent later, but Brent handles the Praxidine and mixed meat stuff. And anyway, but, um, Anyway, today I wanted to kind of get you introduced to Luke and some of these things he's working on. And uh, anyway, this belt conveyor, we've used it, I don't know, quite a few years on the farm, mm -hmm. but we've always had an electric motor drive on it. And uh, uh, we use it at the bends to load out from the bends. But this year we want to haul dry fertilizer to our strip till machine with our hopper bottom truck. And when we bought this conveyor, that was kind of the idea was to be able to load the strip till machine with it. But the electric motor drive wasn't quite so handy because you couldn't just take it everywhere. Mm -hmm. So Luke did a little conversion on this. So you want to explain that? Yeah. So um, I guess the process of how this all came to be, you'll get to see. Um, but basically any of the black painted frame is stuff I've added. Um, this tension box that sets all the belt tension in alignment used to be down where this other saddle is. Um, I slid it up out of the way here and added that push point and the extra trussing. 
um, and then built this whole subframe that our engine and hydraulic reservoir and fuel tank and battery um, and all of our control valve is all in and kind of houses all of the workings of what makes this go. Um, so the pivot and wheel motor and there's a lot of hydraulics on it more than just running the belt. Um, and most of that is for like, there's an incline or a big cylinder over here that does the incline on the belt now instead of a cable winch because it was terribly heavy um, to do on a cable winch. And then uh, three fifths of the hydraulic is actually this drive wheel over here. So it will pick the hopper off of the ground and steer the wheel and drive. So now to set it up to the truck or to the bin, you just run the hydraulics and walk with it and set it where you want it. So way easier than anything else we've had. Yes, you can go out and buy conveyors now with hydraulic drive sit-ups like this. That's where I got the idea to do it. Um, but we had this one already, so why not convert it? I can build it the way that I want to use it because, I mean, I'm probably the one that's going to be using it more than anybody. So <laughs> I could make it how I want it to be. So I know it'd be easy to service and with parts that I know where they came from and where I can replace as things go wrong. So anyway, I'm really looking forward to having this thing out on the farm, being able to park it at a bin for loading out and um, the way this is set up, we've got plenty of horsepower on that motor. It should only have to run half or maybe even up to two thirds throttle. Um, you know, we've got uh, one bin with 10 inch unloading on it. It'll have to wind up pretty good for that. But, yep. um, Which I sized it so that we would have some overspeed from the engine and the pump to run it faster than stock speed to try and help take that so it would never get overrun. But that's one of the things you can do when you're building it yourself is tweak just a little bit. So anyway, I think this thing's going to be super handy. We're looking forward to getting it out there and Luke's just about got it ready to go out. Yeah, a couple little pieces left, the wind guards for these, and it's going to be ready to go out the door and get put to work. So anyway, uh, you'll get to see this thing working out in the field and get to see the builds coming up. And this is just a quick sample of the things coming. Uh, Luke is doing a layout here, uh, tacking together the frame for the wheel, and you see the wheel bracket there on the left. And also you'll see the main frame here as he's starting to put that together. So Luke's starting to lay out the parts. So setting the engine in place, oil reservoir, silo stopped to say hello it looks like, and uh, there's a fuel cell. So just looking at the initial layout here, and uh, here he's doing the uh, wells as he's putting this together. So this is just a sampling of things to come. We really appreciate your stopping by to see us here at the Inventy Farmer YouTube channel and look forward to sharing more details about this project with you. All of um, Luke's engineering going into this. Please subscribe and enjoy.